Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, been a long time since I've done one of these on my rock band microphone. Some of the best quality you will ever get. Uh, highly recommend it. It's a PlayStation 2 rock band microphone. That's what I do commentaries on, for all you wondering. Uh, that's besides the point. Um, moving on with explaining why the hell this is an MW2 gameplay that is from the ancient era. Uh, that would be because this was us beating an 89-1 and one team. It was Team SOX, and back in the MW2 day, that was, they were the team, you know? And uh, this was before anybody, we even dreamed of playing tournaments or anything like that. If you can tell by my friend's voice, I'm sure I sounded pretty similar. Um, also, Lava SF would be Stanola, and then J-Stone would be Savant, or, uh, well, I guess that's about as... Oh, or finessing if you know him by that, but that was even a long time ago. So yeah, just Savant has been his most recent stuff, uh, his gamer tags. But I figured I'm gonna start something new, start telling some old stories. Um, and also, I was pondering the question because I like doing these commentaries. I really do. I, I think I'm gonna start getting into the swing and doing these more. And I know you guys enjoy them, or at least I think you do. So if you do, please be sure to give it that thumbs up. And uh, definitely thumbs up for an old gameplay. This was 89 and one team. We gave them their second loss. I hear him, Heck, I they hear played him 90 matches that. and lost to us. Kind of surprising. But anyway, um, uh, let me know if you'd like the idea of thinking, like doing like, I don't know, I could do maybe like advice even, which is kind of weird, but, uh, or speaking on larger topics because... I kind of find myself like one of the more socially intelligent people, well, I guess. I, and I'm not going to get into any like sort of politics if I do this series because that's everyone's opinion. They're entitled to it. But I, I guess I'm the most neutral, one of the most neutral person when it comes to that sort of thing, I guess. So I would just give like a... I don't know, more of an objective um, viewpoint and advice, blue, so I would try not to be biased in any way or on any topic. Like right yeah, anyway, so, but the story I'm going to be telling you guys today, I figured old gameplay, old story, right? Um, this would have been from a camp out back in, uh, oh man, 7th grade maybe? I'm going into 11th now, so this would be 3-4 years ago, probably about the same time I got this gameplay, not going to kid you at all. Uh, the gameplay might be a little more of a relic than that, but... So, we're, uh, going to a camp out at my friend's house. He has a real nice tent. Like a three, you know, three-man tent. Uh, well, not three-man. Three-room tent. Like, there's a large main room and then two small side rooms. And, uh, it's a really nice tent. We always camp out. In fact, here maybe next week or two when I get back. I'm going on vacation to New Jersey here for a week. So I'm going to try to get some videos tonight that I'll be able to upload while I'm gone and have them scheduled to release but anyway I might be doing that again because it's sort of like a once a sum once a summer uh, sort of legacy I guess uh, but anyway this was just a weird fortune of events I, I got there and um, a few of my friends were actually walking down the road back to my friend's house as I got there because uh, they were going to my friend's house to get some blankets and stuff I don't think my friend's parents were home at the time, but they, they were aware that we were going to be going camping out. So, um, I went, I just went with them, walked back with them, and we, it was kind of cool. We got there, we got, a few people got, uh, started on every different thing, you know, a few of us standing up to ten, a few of us went and get firewood, uh, uh, I don't know, some various other things. I, I really don't know what much more there is. I think a few of us walked to the store to get, you know, food and stuff. So, uh, it was, uh, me, boy, about four, four or five of my friends, and then two of my friends' girlfriends, uh, stayed with us, and, um, it's kind of weird, it was like seventh grade, kind of weird to look back at that, we were young, but, uh, we didn't know what love was, so it didn't matter, but, uh, this is besides the point entirely, and, uh, 
so it, it's nearing like you know it, it's starting to get dark and whatnot and my friend lives a few miles through the woods from the store a, a store a grocery store that we can go to the trails bring you right down to it because i actually ride my dirt bike in the area and um and then and a few miles from a convenience store which is by far the best convenience store around or invented it sucks only parts of the east coast have it but it's called sheets best best thing ever you you just you don't know life until you know sheets and uh and if you're wondering why i have my scoreboard open all the time it's in case they want a team switch because sometimes people do that and it's annoying but it's beside the point and um so yeah they went to a sheets run and i had actually broken my collarbone on my old dirt bike like a week before this maybe two so like i could move and i could walk but I couldn't, I couldn't run, I couldn't do any fast-paced, like, arm swinging, because I was still in a sling, and I couldn't, I know later on a few of my friends went corning and stuff, and I, I couldn't go with them, because if I were to run away and fall, I just was not allowed to do anything like that, so, basically, but I remember later on, um, how this all kind of comes together, my friend was going to go to Sheets, because they make two hot dogs for a dollar, he had ten dollars, so I believe he got twenty of them. And he loves those things. See, I don't think he ate all twenty. We kind of shared them amongst ourselves, but he ate a good probably I'd say ten. And uh but at the same time one of my friends, uh I guess a one of, he's a great above us. Um one of his uh acquaintances, I guess. he's not really friends with him, but he knows him a little bit through school. He's kind of a a shady character. He asked if he got kicked out of his house, so I guess that like, step one, we were, heck, they were only in eighth grade, we were in seventh, so if you're in eighth grade and getting kicked out of your house, then I think you're going to have some problems later down the road. But, so this was just a weird scenario here in general, and he asked us, he said, could, could I give you guys some money and just come to stay with you guys or whatever, because I guess somehow he knew about, I don't know how it all happened. Um, and anyway, so they were all... And we're all gone. I was just kind of hanging out in the tent with a few other people that didn't go and uh, hanging out by the fire. And I remember at one point later on, um, they finally get back with this kid. And this kid was, he was weird. Like, I don't know, he was weird. And you'll see later. But, uh, and he just had this, like, vibe going about him. Just like, you, you don't want to trust yourself. You didn't want to. You want to turn your back to him, kind of. So, um, uh, later on, everybody left for another reason, which, God forbid, it, it escapes me at this point. Um, I think they actually went to go corning or something, because they got corn along the way, and then they were going. And once again, my collarbone, I couldn't go. And a few other people were just hanging out. And they were actually inside the tent, and, uh, I was just hanging out at the fire with this, um, shady creature and I end up laying down and dozing off and waking back up it when it's just pitch black and the fire is just in smolders and uh, to the kid screaming at me that there's a rattlesnake and that we need to we need to take cover here meanwhile this kid got kicked out of his house so you'd think he'd be a little uh, I guess brash about things and that but he was he was scared, like he was genuinely afraid. He was screaming that the, that he he heard a rattler. Oh my God, he heard a rattler snake. So my friends in the tent, they must have been sleeping. And one of the one of the girls said, "All right, hey, Braden, you know, come in the tent, whatever." It's like okay, but they didn't know the kids. So they didn't. Of course, they didn't offer him safety. And uh, so we go to the tent, and um, he was freaking out he's like oh my god i need in there too whatever and so we go inside and um we sit in there for about 30 minutes and don't hear a single thing and the kid constantly reminded us that he heard the thing and he was scared as hell but we never heard a thing of it or anything but it was just the most peculiar peculiar thing laying on the ground with a broken collarbone waking up to this tough ass that got kicked out of his house screaming at you that there's a rattlesnake it was just Nine. retarded Nine. to say the least I, I didn't know how to put oh it in words gosh. really 
not not too great of a story, just something kind of weird I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, definitely leave a like for the gameplay and a comment, and uh, the commentary. Let me know any sort of feedback. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Peace.